What's up, everybody? This is Eric Ramirez, Computer Solutions. So I've been rocking the iPhone 11 Pro Max for a few days now, since it came out last week or so, right? And I've been shooting a lot of video footage with this device. And I've been shooting a lot of still footage in daytime and nighttime in different scenarios. I'm finding some strange stuff going on with the cameras with this device. Now, I know a lot of people have been saying that these are the best camera phones on the planet, but I'm having some concerns about the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let me give you some details in this video. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready <sighs> and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I got the iPhone 11 Pro Max and I've been shooting a lot of camera footage with this device. And I know a lot of people have been proclaiming that this phone is beating every phone out there. But listen, I'm gonna be real with you. I've been discovering some problems with the camera array here with this device. Maybe Apple could fix it with a software update, but I don't know about that. Because this go back uh, to uh, a couple of years ago with the Pixel phone, when you shot a still footage or you had some video footage, you saw what's called lens flare. And I'm starting to see that a lot on this device when I'm shooting outside. And I'm gonna show you guys some footage here real quick on what I'm seeing. Also, when you open up the camera app and you're going from left to right to different modes, I'm noticing a lot of lagginess, a lot of lag with the camera app. Now, here's the thing. I have two iPhone 11 Pro Maxes, right? And I believe that it's a issue that cannot be fixed because we had the same issue with the pixel and the pixel that could not fix the pixels with the lens flare and stuff like that. But let me show you guys real quick on some of the things that I've seen here uh, with this device. And I'm gonna give you commentary of what I'm seeing. And I wanna show you guys really quick uh, some still images, uh, some of the things that I'm seeing and I'm gonna give you commentary of some of the things that I'm witnessing with this device. So uh, let me go to open up a photo here and uh, I want y'all guys to see this. All right, so this is a daytime photo. And as you can see, right along here, you have lens flare. Now, at first I thought it was clouds and stuff like that, but no, this is a lens flare. And uh, it's more pronounced uh, when I get into another photo, but I noticed that when I've been taking a bunch of uh, still footage on the outside and even at night. But uh, yes, if you see here, this is not a cloud. Uh, <laughs> this is lens flare. But you know what? I kind of read it off that, you know, maybe it had a mistake. But as I was shooting more content, I noticed at night. Now, right here at night, I have another lens flare by shooting this photo here at night. So now I have a daytime and a nighttime uh, still foot, a photo that I'm having problems with. Now listen, I've took hundreds of photos so far with this device and I have encountered a lot of lens flare issues with this phone. And this is another one, right? Now, right here, if you see the red robin right at the top here, another lens flare. Uh, and look, man, it is weird to see this device uh, coming out the gate that having some of these issues. As you can see right here at the Ray Robin, right at the top, you got a lens flare. Now, right here with the vehicle, again at night, again, lens flare, right along here that I'm having a lens flare problem shooting at night with this device. Now, here we go, another nighttime shot here. I mean, we have lens flare right here in the shot. Now, I'm gonna show you the Galaxy Note 10, same footage, but this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max uh, shooting at night and in the daytime. Now, when it comes down to video, uh, we're gonna talk about that too, but here's another still footage right here uh, of a photo with lens flare in the shot, all right? In the shot. Now, let's go ahead and put this in comparison. As you see right here, that is the iPhone 11 Pro Max with a lens flare. Now, let me go ahead on and show you guys the Galaxy Note, stay, same shot, right? Same shot, Galaxy Note. I had it, both of them in my hand, on the tripod, in my hand, and I shot the same thing. And as you can see, the Galaxy Note 10 was great. It's deeper blacks, the salt grass sign was really good. So, 
with that said that we got a lens flare problem with the device let me go back uh, to the iPhone right here all right now I want to show you guys a video real quick a video of some of the lens flares that I seen by just shooting a video in the daytime so let me show you this video right here and I'm gonna describe what I'm doing now I've done this a lot of times and in the cinematic footage as you can see the lens flare is popping up as I'm moving around and I'm not pointing at the Sun but as you can see the lens flare is just popping up all over this video here and for some strange reason, every time I do this type of uh, cinematic footage, I don't get this with other devices, but I'm getting this out of the iPhone camera. So I don't know what's going on, why are we getting a lens flare out of video and still footage with uh, these devices. Now, let me show you another one right here. This is another video uh, that I shot and I, I actually uh, use this video in my cinematic footage. Now I wanna show you guys here that look at the lens flare it's popping up all over the place right there now yes you do see the Sun but the lens flare pops up all over this footage here almost making it unusable so I don't know what's going on uh, with this device and again I have two of them so I use a different device and I'm getting the same results so maybe a software update can fix this but this is what I'm seeing coming out of the iPhone 11 Pro Max uh, and it's lens flare it's really weird. It's really, really weird. Okay, so let me show you again the Galaxy Note 10. Again, a lot of filming that I've been doing. And as you can see, the Galaxy Note 10 does not have any lens flares at all. Even shooting it in the nighttime or the daytime. And as you can see, the Ray Robin sign does not have any lens flare. And again, I have both of the devices in my hand. I've done this before and I never had lens flares when popping up in these videos that I make. Now, I'm starting to see this with a lot of footage with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I don't know why, but that's what I'm seeing here. So I think that Apple could probably fix this with software updates or whatever, I'm not sure. Also, with the slowness of going from different modes on the camera app, I mean, sometimes it's very laggy to switch from mode to mode. And I, again, I think uh, since the device is a relatively new phone, it just came out, I think that Apple would probably see some of these videos and probably do some updates to try to fix some of these issues with the iPhone 11. Now listen, a lot of y'all guys might hit me in the comments and say, listen, Eric, I don't see no lens flares on my device. My phone might have been made on a Monday and your phone might have been made on a Tuesday. I don't know. Now, I, when I shot both of these uh, videos, uh, all the shots that I've made, I did it with no case. So I've been kind of rocking this bare bones with no case. And But I'm noticing that for some strange reason that I'm getting terrible lens flares. Now I've deleted a couple of photos thinking that it was user error, but as I'm going along shooting a lot of videos and footage with this device, I'm noticing to see a lot of lens flare. Now again, if you go back and look at uh, the Pixel devices and stuff like that, you know that this has happened before on the Pixel phone and it was basically nothing that Google could do about it. I hope that Apple can fix some of the issues here with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. We will see. This is Eric Comedians Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Look, I just call it how I see it. That's all. I mean, it's still relatively good cameras, but I'm just calling out some things that I'm seeing. I'm out here filming like every day with these devices and I'm using a phone here and a phone here and I'm shooting with the iPhone and these are the issues that I'm encountering. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to nitpick with it, but I cannot use a phone not knowing that it's going to have a lens flare problem uh, with the cameras. And listen, out of all the devices that I've had, uh, the iPhone 11 Pro Max is the phone right now that we talked about right now that has these lens flare problems. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.